Hello everyone, I'm Leo Ding, one of the founders of Racket Motion Studio. We produce creative stories with animation. With an online course, you can make similar shorts like this. Welcome to my motion graphic. I don't know why you think that you could help me when you couldn't get by by yourself. Okay, one of the difficult part is to animate the text I don't know why. Here I clicked on it. This letter out, if you see the sample, you can see that I have made the eye fall down. Then the don't slide down, the no fall down, and the Y appears like this. Back to I don't know why, I select letter out, create shape from vector layer, and this Y, I also have to create shape from vector layer. Because we have to make the motion with shape layer for I and Y. I will delete unnecessary letters. You can keep them because if you mess it up, you can have these as backups. But my habit is to delete them to work more easily. I will display the content of the I letter. In group 1, I will also keyframe the parts. I will move to frame 15 or 16. Select two start points. You can see that here it has four points. I will select two start points, drag them upwards. Meanwhile, I will drag the keyframe I've just created to the middle. I will select two end points and drag them like this. And we have made the eye appeared. Select easy ease. Similarly, we will make our graph curved. Our graph has to curve like that and our motion will be much smoother. Let's watch. After the letter I appear, I make the don't and no go in. Go back to our main comp. Remember to make these words follow the music. For example, I have the letter I. When the track play, when he sings I, the letter I will appear. At this moment, right at this point, I return to I don't know why and drag our letter I a little bit further back. Around this part, the letter I will appear. Back to the main, we will see when he sings the don't. You can see that this artist sings quite fast. Don't and no seem to be consecutive. So at one second mark, we need to make the don't and no appear already. I go back to the com I don't know why. Here I will make the word don't appear by masking it. I press P on the keyboard and keyframe its position. I move to around one and a half second. At this point, right at the one second mark, I will move this word to the left like this. I select the keyframe and easy ease. I will curve the graph as well. This is one of the necessary tricks to make your motion smoother. I want this don't to appear from the side of letter I. So I create a shape layer like this. I create a shape along the side of letter I and fit with the don't. Here I will set the fill. Whatever fill color is okay. For the stroke, I will set as none. I, dra I drag the shape layer below. I press this right above this don't. With our mouse, I will trim it back here. Afterwards, I select the don't. Then to display everything, I will click on toggle switches modes and we will see the modes. At the track mask section, it will currently set to none, so you set it as alpha. By doing so, the word don't will show up only in this masked area. If it goes outside, it will be trimmed off and can be seen. See, that's how it moves. And we will do the same to the word no. Like I said, the singer sings fast, so the words seem to appear simultaneously. We have I don't know. Right here, the word no already appears, 
I press P, keyframe position, and drag it to the second mark. Move it a bit higher. I select all, keyframe assistant, easy ease. We also curve the graph for our text. We see that this word no appear more smoothly than the don't because the distance it travels is shorter. That's why I will move it a bit, bit higher. Drag the keyframe to this side a bit. I will also trim it. If you leave your layers span the whole timeline like this, it will be hard to manage your project. So whenever possible, you should trim the layers. I will also draw a new max in this area. I drag it below, align it with the word no. I select no and the track mat is currently set to none. I change it to alpha. So you have a motion like this. I will drag don't a little bit further back and no as well. And I will also increase the timing of the motion so now it seems much smoother. Next is the word Y. If you go back to our sample, you can see that I make Y slide in from no. The letter H and Y appears. Now since I am using CS6, it's a bit inconvenient. I will have to separate Y manually. I will control D twice. I will go into each white outlines, display content. I will delete group 1 and group 2, leaving only the letter W. With white outlines 2, I delete group 3 and 1. Likewise, in white outlines 3, I delete group 2 and group 3. So I have three letters WHY like this. There is a plugin so that when you click on it, you can separate these three layers very fast. I will find it and show it you later. Alright, this Y is easy because we only need to make it appear. I will time it after don't know and let it appear right this moment. I will press P to display its position. Drag it to this side a bit. Here I will also align this W to be in place of letter W in the no. Trim it. I will also select keyframe assistant and easy ease. Next is letter H. I will make it appear the same way as letter I. Go to group 2, path, click this stopwatch. I will drag it at about 3 seconds. Select 4 top points of letter H, drag them up here. I will also drag these 2 points up as well, so that they are on the same level with the previous 4. I will drag the newly created keyframe to the middle. This time, I will drag all the bottom points to the top. Trim this layer. Select all the keyframes on the right. Choose Easy Ease. And in the graph, you do the same. Curve it. After finishing, you have a motion like this. You can adjust our timing a bit until you feel satisfied with it. Now to the letter Y, it will run from the letter H. I will show you another trick. In the group of this letter Y, I will display this group. Here it has a transform. I will click on the position. This is a transform of just this shape only, not the whole layer. Just as in episode 2 on shape layer that I have shared with you, I will drag these two points inside a bit, like this. I will set its x-axis position to move to this side. I will also keyframe assistant and easy ease. Go to the graph and curve it. So that we have a motion like this. At this last keyframe, I select letter Y, right click, choose mask, select new mask. What this does is the letter Y only appears inside these marks, like you see here. 
You can also select this layer. Choose these mass points to move it. Alright, the next thing is that we'll see when the word Y should appear. Y appears right this moment, at around 2 second mark, so I will drag it a bit further back. We have I don't know why. Next is to change the color. You notice that the color we need to change will be this color yellow. There are plugins and presets to help you choose color quickly, but I also have my own trick to do so. I go into window, choose type, uh, no, character, the character panel. Here we also have an eyedropper tool, and we can choose the color we want. I return to I don't know why, reuse this color, choose it, copy it and then go into the fill option and paste. Like I said, there are a lot of presets and plugins, so I will collect them for you someday. And because I am afraid right now using too many of them will make you confused. So I have just guided you to animate the text I don't know why. Right, now that we are done with it, we can hide it away.